I look like a Twilight vampire. Darcy! Hey guys! What's up? It's your favorite bald hitty bitch. Back at it again with another video. Today I'm gonna be doing the full face of Korean makeup challenge again. Now I actually haven't done one of these in maybe a year or longer. And last time I did this it actually went pretty well. So I'm expecting a good result today. If you guys haven't seen my previous attempts at this challenge, they'll be linked up here for you to watch after this. So I'm like super excited to try this again. I feel like I'm almost going back to my roots, like the roots of this channel. What am I even talking about right now? Also, if you're wondering, Darcy, did you get blacker? I did. I've been going outside every single day and I have a wicked tan. Maybe I'll finally be black enough with this tan. I doubt it though. Anyways, let's get started with this challenge. So as the title implies, I am only allowed to use Korean makeup products today. And some of you out there may be thinking, why is this a challenge, Daisy? Why is it Korean makeup, Daisy? And to that I say, it's because Korean makeup brands don't make complexion products for my skin tone. At least most of them don't. Find out which ones do today. <laughs> it's Innisfree. Okay, so I have all of my products laid out in front of me. Let's get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is prime my skin. So I'm gonna take my Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. Hey, hey Darcy, it's me, Darcy. Did you know that Touch and Soul has a new primer? They do. Well, show it to me then. Wow! If you can't tell by now, this video is brought to you by Touch and Soul. So if you guys watch my videos, you know that I am obsessed with this primer. Mwah. This is my baby. My little boo-boo. I love this primer because it instantly smooths your skin. See, most primers with this smoothening effect dry out your skin. And I already have dry skin, so I'm not down for that, you know? But the Touch and Soul Primer smooth out your skin so that it almost looks photoshopped, but it keeps your skin juicy and moisturized. That's what I'm talking about. But now, there's a new kit on the block. The Icy Sherbet Primer from Touch and Soul. And by its name, I'm assuming that I can eat it. Nope, can't eat it. Oh, ooh, I feel a cooling sensation already. This primer is silicone and oil free. It's pore covering and gives a silky finish with a cooling effect. I feel the cooling already. I feel cool. With this cooling effect, this primer is perfect for the summertime. They didn't tell me to say that. I said that on my own. I came up with that. My face is really tingly right now. <laughs> I'm gonna put some more on so I can keep tingling. <laughs> this one, smoothing and perfecting. This one, silky and cool. Why does this one sound like the cool older brother? I still love you though. If you wanna grab either of these primers, of course, the links will be in the description, but also, we're doing a giveaway! Three lucky winners will be selected for a 20. No, that's a two. For a, for a 20. For a, for a 20? for a $20 gift card to Touch and Soul. <laughs> to enter the contest, please look in the description box for details. Pick up your favorite primer today. Use code POTATO20 for discounts. Yay. Okay, time for foundation. So for foundation, I'm gonna be using this one from Innisfree. This is the Velvet Cover Foundation, and this is the color W41. Okay, so this is normally my color, but as I said, I'm a bronzed goddess now, so I don't know if this is still my color. Looking suspiciously light, friends. I mean... This was my shade, like, a month ago, I swear to God. Okay, look, it's fine. Oh my God. Yeah, we're just gonna do it. <laughs> I'm light-skinned today. <laughs> it's actually fine. It's fine. Once you blend it out, it's fine. How you like that? How you like that? Da, 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 da. Bada bing, bada boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you know what? I thought this was gonna be a disaster and it was gonna be way too light. I was gonna be like, oh my god. I mean, I have to mix it with something. Like, oh. <laughs> but it turned out fine. I feel like that's a metaphor for my entire life. I think it's gonna be a disaster, but it turns out fine. Okay, so now that we are velvetly covered, let's move on to concealer. Ow. 
Ow, I hit my leg. Today, I'm gonna be using the Kaja Concealer. Last time I did this, I got a little bit of criticism. for using Kaja. People were like, Kaja's not a Korean brand. It was made by Sephora. It was made by Sephora and Mimi Box, and Mimi Box is a Korean brand. They're a Korean American brand, which still counts. I just keep putting on more. I'm just like, you know what? You know what we could use? More, more concealer, more. I'm gonna let this sit for a bit because it's a very watery concealer. So we're just gonna let it chill. Just gonna let it marinate, you know? I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but we're doing it. And in the meantime, we're gonna do our eyebrows, which still look toe up because hashtag quarantine. We're in phase two where I live. So a lot of places are open up again, but nothing where they have to touch your face. So I can't get any facials and I can't get my eyebrows waxed. And like my life is, over. Ugh. So I have bushy eyebrows and a face full of blackheads, but I'm still cute though. So I'm just gonna fill in some sparse areas here. All the products that I'm using, I will try to link them in the description. If you don't see them there, it's because I was too lazy. And I also bought this eyebrow gel from Kata because I wanted to try it. And I don't have a Korean eyebrow gel, so might as well. Just gonna brush my brows up and hope for the best. That's all you can do in life is just brush up your brows and hope for the best. Okay, I feel like this concealer is starting to dry. Let's go. I'm gonna start blending this out. I put way too much concealer on my forehead, man. Now it's just taking up my whole forehead, my whole forehead light skin. Is it just me or is this concealer thicker than it was before? Because I distinctly remember the Kato concealers being like super thin and that's why I didn't like them. But this is like, this is like some medium coverage. I'm liking it. Or maybe it's because I let it sit for five minutes. Maybe it was me all along. I bet it was me. <laughs> Gotta add a little bit more concealer to the mustache, to the mustachio. Bada bing, bada boom, boom, boom. Okay, so next step is powder. And I think we're in a bit of a pickle here because currently the only Korean powder that I own is this pressed powder from VDL, which is clearly my perfect match. We're just gonna do it. We're going in. We're going in with the beauty blender. We're going in. I am beautiful, no matter what they say. Words can bring me down. Oh, no. I am beautiful in every single way. Yes, the words can bring me down. See, this is the part that always turns me from classy to ashy. It's just an absolute tragedy. It's tragic. It's tragic. <laughs> You know, I could have been a bad bitch, a non-committal. I'm starting to look like a corpse, y'all. <laughs> we look in casket variety. Looking like a casket body. Looking like a dead body. I look like a Twilight vampire. Okay, next step. We're going to contour. We're gonna take this contour kit from VDL and take the darkest shade, which will, it's probably the same color as my skin right now, or lighter. Am I doing anything? Is this doing it? Is this doing something? Wait, I think that did something. I think it's working, it's working. We're fine. Can we just go over the casketness a little bit? I don't wanna look like Edward Cullen's black cousin. You gotta cover up that light skin forehead, all right? Bring it down to a medium skin, a medium dark. And then I'm gonna spray my face with this 3CE Waterful Mist. It's so waterful, so misty. Oh my God, what is in this? I don't know, it's in Korean. I still kind of look like a vampire, but whatever. I'm gonna be taking this palette from Cleo. It's from Cleo, right? Yeah, it is. This is the Rusted Rose palette, but I don't really know why it's called that because there's really no rose in here. It should just be Rusted, the Rusted palette. I'm gonna take this shade here. I thought there was a mirror there, but there isn't. Oh wait, there is. It's very, very tiny. <laughs> That's it. That's the mirror. Pathetic. 
Well, I guess it's just big enough so you can see your eyes. <laughs> just the eyes. We're just gonna give them a mirror big enough for the eyes. That's all you're getting. Don't complain. It's all you really need, really. It's a beautiful day outside today. A beautiful day to twerk to the Twilight theme song. <laughs> Now I'm gonna take this sparkly eyeshadow from Touch and Salt. This is the color Cream Peach. I'm just gonna take some on my finger. And we're gonna apply that. Oh, whoa, whoa! That's intense. Just blending it ever so souffle. Then I'm gonna put on some mascara. I'm gonna use this Cleo mascara. It's called the Kill Lash Mascara. It actually comes in two different kinds. I have both. I have both of them. One is for lengthening and one is for volume, of which I need both. All right, so now we're gonna try and bring some color into this vampire face. So I'm gonna take the Multi Pot from 3CE and Hollyhock, like so, and we're just gonna pat, 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 a pat, 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 a pat, pat, pat. I know what you're thinking. That's a lot of blush, Darcy, and you're correct, it is. Okay, kids, we're almost there. Let me just, uh adjust my wig cap. All we have to do now is put on some lipstick. I'm thinking nude. Are you thinking nude? I'm thinking nude. Let's pull out this bad boy. This is the Multi Pot from 3CE in, in di, 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 Diotima? I never know how to pronounce that. Diotima? Diotima? I don't know. We're just putting it on. I don't know how to say it. We're just putting it on. See, normally with a color like this, I would put on a brown lip liner, but do I have a brown lip liner that's from a Korean brand? I do not. What if I lined it with my eyebrow pencil? Let's try. I think it might be working a little bit. Guys, I think it's working. I'm gonna put this lip tint on from Roman in the color Lychee Coral. Barely just patting that on. Barely making a splash there, but it's doing something. Also smells really good, like fruit punch. Okay guys, now it's time to put on the wig. I've already got my shirt on. This was the most Korean shirt that I could find in my closet. Where's my comb? I found it. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's toss this on. Bada bing, bada boom, boom, boom. Once I put on the wig, I'm a brand new person. You can't talk to me anymore. I'm out of your league, sweetie. I love when hair clips have no function. Like, they're just there. <laughs> look at you, now look at me. Look at you, now look at me. Look at you, now look at me. We're both cute. Whenever I'm dressed like this, I feel like I'm 16 again. Even though this is not what I looked like when I was 16. But we grow up and we glow up. This actually came out pretty good. I don't know how we made it here, but we did. They had me in the first half, not gonna lie. That twilight powder, it was real scary. But we made it back around somehow, and we're looking good. Maybe one day, a Korean brand will sell a powder that doesn't look like this. Look at that. It's literally, it's yellow. It's not even just light, it's yellow. So remember kids, stay in school and stay in black pink. Bada bing, bada boom, boom, boom. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if there are any Korean brands that do sell darker powders, because I haven't really been paying attention to the K-beauty scene recently. I've been a little distracted. My bitch got a body like Alba. What up, dog? I'm the alpha. So you better... Sorry, what? But if you do know of any products or brands that do cater to darker skin tones, definitely leave them in the comment section down below. Spread the love. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will be in two seconds, because you're just gonna click one of these, sweetie. Isn't this feature great? <laughs> All right, I'll see you in one of these. Don't forget that I love ya so, 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 so much. Bye. Bada bing, bada boom, boom, boom. <laughs>